I installed this uh, Shoop electronics on my combine. I just want to go over a couple of things. They gave you this great sheet for Pacific combines. Mine's a 1460. Um, I just want to go over a couple of things that I thought were kind of important. Um, of course, it's raining and it's wet and it's cold, but I put the moisture sensor down there and then they tell you to put it as high as you possibly can but on this one it's uh it's actually right here below the chain and um so that's the highest i can go otherwise you gotta go way up there you can't see very well but the chain and there's not enough room for the uh, sensor on the outside so that's the highest i can go on the 1460 on my combine unless you get a ground driven or a uh, bottom driven chain thing uh, I guess it's available but real simple I just routed the, the cable through here up through there there's a little sensor here for the table wires are ran pretty simply um, I just run it through there and then I drill the hole through here and then put a uh, um, a lock you don't have to do that but I'm worried about mice getting into this compartment so I just uh, did an extra precaution and put one of those electrical locks in there and that's actually a uh, seven eighths or actually no I said three quarters and the hole is has to be an inch inch wide inch in diameter so I got that all my cables come in here here's my junction box cover and then my junction box is right there pretty simple to hook up um, they give you some directions in the book here where to put everything and uh, then they give you a nice um, They give you a nice diagram of all the wires and then you give you a bigger picture here, which is really nice and then this cable here is going to the monitor This is my power cable um, This is the moisture and this is the yield and actually this is the uh, table height and this is the uh, the uh, moist the uh, yield but very simple to hook up nice junction box easy to hook up easy to follow um, these are self-sealing these tube things on the bottom so you don't have to tape them or anything um, the only thing left i have to do is hook up my power cord which is right here and uh, I just have to find a power and a ground on this side over here. It's already got a fuse, inline fuse, right here, so it, it's well protected. And uh, then the only thing else to do is to hook up the monitor and uh, and the GPS. I ran through the door. I'm gonna put some protector on it so it doesn't get wrecked in the door. But I figure if I'm done with it, I'm just gonna take it down and put it inside the cab so it's not getting wet or rain or snowed on. And then it looks like basically this stays in the combine, but you can take your monitor in, you can take your um, um, your your uh, yield moisture, your yield sensor in, you can take your moisture sensor in, you just take the whole door off, and you can take all the components inside, and I think they would last a lot longer than versus out in the elements if you're parking your combine on the elements, or you know if you want to keep them safe and dry, that's what I would do no matter where you park your combine. Anyway, that's my little story on the uh, um, Shoop monitor. Um, open for good things in the future. Any questions? The service techs are really helpful to help.